welcome back to my channel. I am filming a part two of this video um, from a different video that I just filmed a part one for. So it's like the same day that I'm, I'm, I'm recording part one and two, just because if I don't do it now, then I'm probably going to forget about it and never feel up to doing it. So I thought doing it now would be the best um, course of action. So uh, we are going to be going through my figure collection page again and cleaning up my wish list, my figure wish list. I did mention in my part one that I'll probably, after I clean up the figure wish list, I'll probably go through the goods category uh, in another video and clean that up as well. But this is a good opportunity to just take a break from unboxing figures and chill out. You know, kind of take a look at like how we can just change our minds on figures that we like really liked before and, and don't really like now and make, you know, smarter decisions and not waste our money on stuff that we're we can actually live without uh, but didn't realize at the time so grab your coffee or your tea I, I feel so cringy saying that but like grab your coffee or your tea or your water I have a I have water here too um, and let's let's take a look at um, all the stuff that I put on my wish list during I don't know a manic episode or something so <laughs> here we go all right so we left off last time on page two which is crazy like we only got through one page in my last video, which is crazy. I'm gonna try to go through more here uh, and and not explain as much. So here we go. Um, a lot of these are Nendroids, which I know I always say this y'all, but I do want to cut down on Nendroids. So um, here we have Ryuko. Let me just open a bunch up. We have Hinata, we have Tobio. Ryuko I do not need. I have one version of Ryuko in her school uniform for like Jersey, the Jersey version of this. So I'm going to, we're going to say bye to her. And I have her in her bunny suit. I have the fring quarter scale. So we're going to, we don't need this. Haikyuu Nendroids. I'm done collecting Haikyuu Nendroids. As beautiful as they are and they are like super well made nendroids i only had these guys on my wish list because i was planning on collecting all the haiku nendroids but there's a ton of them out there so i only kept and bought my favorite characters which are oikawa kuro bokuto uh, and suga so as much as i really 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 love hinata kageyama and the others i just i can't I, I can't do it like it's just a lot we have this I don't know why I don't even we have this CL figure from Black Butler and it's like an action figure I don't even collect these I like girl you don't even collect these get the oh it's a one six nice but like no anyways uh, these are the school uniform ones that my friend has, which are super cute of Tobio and Hinata, but like I said, we don't need it. I do have the school uniform version of Oikoa, just because he's my favorite, and the regular version of Oikoa, um, but yeah. But I didn't like go out seeking for them and buying them. They got re-released, so I just took advantage of that. <laughs> I was only going to get Iwa because I had Oikoa and I thought they went well together, but like, it's fine. We don't need we can delete these all right these are free figures i think that i just thought they were so freaking cute and yeah i just i there's like i only added these because they were super freaking cute but like i have scales of these guys i don't they're not like things that i actually need or ones that i actually need so we're going to say goodbye as much as it pains me because of how adorable they are we, we don't we don't we don't actually need them okay Oh, uh, we have Makoto too, so we need to remove Makoto. And then we have this Irvin Nendroid, which I don't really need from Attack on Titan. I have all the main ones, which are Eren, Mikasa, Armin, and then I also have Levi. I don't need, I know Sasha came out and they think they did her so well. They gave her a potato, but like, it's okay. I don't, I can live without it, it's fine. We have this Akko Nendroid, I really want She's so freaking cute. I love, I love Akko so much. This is such a good series, you guys. If you have not watched this, it is so freaking good. But I really want the scale instead. I, she, I'll probably still keep her on my wish list though, just in case. 
So yeah, I was about to delete her, but we'll keep her. Again, uh, hi cute androids, goodbye. This Sailor Moon doll, I've seen some people have these dolls. They're, oh, it's a one third. They're like Dolphy, I think they're called, yeah, Dolphy, Dolphi, I don't know. But they are so freaking cute. But I know like, they're like, I feel like, I don't know, I wouldn't trust myself to have this, so as much as I really want her. And she's like, they're like, I, I think they're like a thousand dollars or something. That's not aftermarket, I don't think. I think like to order them. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you have one of these or I've looked into it more, but like I, these are like super, it's fine. I don't really need it. I'm not, I, I can barely get myself to dust my own fingers. I don't think I can like <laughs> really take care of this. This is like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I freaking age regressed when I <laughs> when I put this on my wish list, but I thought it was so cool. It's like a Barbie dream house with without Barbie. Oh, it's just that like one panel. I thought it was like a whole dollhouse. Oh yeah, it is. No, no. It's still cute, but I don't I don't need it. Hanji, I do not need girl. I didn't get Irvin. I am not getting you. Uh, and then we have that Tokyo Mew Mew doll. Yeah, again, I I can't. I feel like Haikyuu figures or Attack on Titan figures are like the Haikyuu ones where it's like only get my favorites and that's it. And I didn't even unbox my Attack on Titan figures. I don't know why. I feel like I might change my mind on wanting them. I don't, this isn't even like a Japanese one. This is like Italian. I don't need this Tokyo Mew Mew doll. I only had this figure on my wish list because even though I really love the show and I think, I feel like it like trended as the show was airing and then it kind of just disappeared. Like nobody, all of a sudden nobody was talking about it. I really thought that we were gonna get a figure of Haru so that I can get him and pose him with Kanbe, but we didn't. And Haru is my favorite out of the two. I literally, I, I'm, I'm not gonna get him and just have him, he's gonna, no, I want Haru. <laughs> Bye. This was a really good show though. I do recommend watching it. So good. So funny too. Uh, Yuki from Fruits Basket. I did just get yesterday. Um, I got Kyo shipped in. I haven't opened him yet. I don't know if I want to open him to be honest. I'm still deciding on whether I want to keep him or not. I kind of just ordered him to be safe because it's Kyo, it's Fruits Basket. So yeah, I ordered him just in case. It's from Toy Tech. I've never ordered a Nendroid from Toy Tech, so, but I heard terrible things about them and even in their prototype photos, they don't look that great compared to other Nendroids. So I'm holding off for now. I might end up selling Kyo, but yeah. We don't need Yuki. I'm happy with the Kotobukiya scales that I have. Um, there is this Kamisama Kiss Tomoe figure. It doesn't look like Tomoe really, but I think it's super cute and I was gonna order him. It's, oh, you can, I didn't, I forgot that you can change his face. I never did order him, but like, this is the only Kamisama Kiss figure, so I'll still keep him for now, but like, oh, there's other ones. Oh, this one's cute too, but like, I want like a, Oh, big boy. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll leave that one in my watch list, though. These Heaven Officials Blessing. I don't know where's Hua Chunk. Oh, here he is. <sighs> okay. When these got announced, I would not shut up about it. Now that... And they took forever to, like, get their painted prototypes shown. And the day they showed their painted prototypes is the day that the pre-orders went up. And I feel like I waited so long on these guys to, like, get their prototypes painted and shown that once they they did come out, I was just, like, ugh, like, underwhelmed. And Hua Chang looks so weird. And the face plates weren't that great still super cute but like no sorry i can't believe i'm like deleting this off my wish list now oh what a sad day um these link click figures still waiting for prototype they are taking forever though i have these tokyo revengers figures or nendroids i love the show but i'm not I'm, i don't love it so much that i will die if i don't get an android of them. I did have Mikey pre-ordered when he came out and then I changed my mind and I canceled him. 
and I haven't really regretted it to be honest so I don't think I would regret not getting these guys either although I really do love Mikey and Chifuyu those are my two favorites I still think I can live without them Tengen okay this I the only Demon Slayer Nendroid I have is a uh, uh, Zenitsu because he's like my favorite but Tengen is also my favorite and this Nendroid of Tengen is so good looking. Oh my god, look at this. This is like my favorite. He's so cute and adorable, but and I really was going to order him. I really was. I was like so close to hitting that pre-order, but I forced myself not to because I told myself no Nendroids. And I'm not about to stop that roll I'm on now. <laughs> uh okay i don't like season four aaron i don't like any of the season four attack on titan nendroids at all they all are so underwhelming uh except for reiners but like if i'm not getting I'm, I'm done with the like whole attack on titan figure thing okay i feel like we're getting uh through these figures faster than part one which is good um okay i'm still gonna keep these given nendroids on here because they are so well made like Good Smile Company has been doing such a shitty job with Nendroids, but, but, this, these like Mafuyu and Uenoyama figures are like, I don't know, it's like Good Smile died and then came back to life just for these Nendroids. So I'm still gonna keep them on my wish list, uh, cause I, maybe I do want them, um, eventually. Hopefully the aftermarket isn't too mean to me when I do decide on getting them, but yeah, they are just, I mean, Mafuyu looks so freaking good. Oh my God, look at him. He's so, I love the colors on him. Like this, the hair and the eye. Oh, uh, he looks so warm. That's like the, the weirdest way to put it, but like his colors, he looks so warm. I love him. Again, we have, oh my God, with these damn attack on Titan. Girl, chill out. We have Annie, goodbye. Goodbye, girl. Haven't seen you in like, three seasons i've moved on girl jean i love you my guy but like also horse face sasha my love i'm so sorry to do this goodbye enjoy your potatoes oh this is the devil is a part timer and android i will keep this for now <laughs> just because um just because there's no devil is a part timer scales yet so we will keep this for now i mean except for the older ones Makima Nendroid, all the Makima figures are so underwhelming and so bland and so is this Nendroid, goodbye girl. Like I can live without you. Aki, I only had Aki on here. I love Aki so freaking much, don't get me wrong, but I only had Aki on here because I already have Denji and Power. But now I'm like, there are like Aki scales that are so freaking good, you guys. There are two that I have my eye on. So maybe I'll leave Aki for now. I do really love Kobeni. Didn't pre-order her, but I really do love Kobeni, despite everybody hating her. Uh, there is no Kobeni scale, so we are going to keep her on my wish list until maybe we get a Kobeni scale. Um, here we have Ango and Odasaku and these Harmonia humming uh, Chuya and Dazai dolls and Nendroids from Bungo Stray Dogs. These all just got announced. I am not taking these off my wish list. However, let me tell you something. Who was gonna tell me how much these Harmonia humming dolls go for? Because, oh my God, I did, uh, like once these got announced, I went and I looked at like other past Harmonia humming dolls, like the Miku one, just to see like what, you know, where we're, where we're standing, where we're, where we're thinking. Give me a little range. $300, $300 for that Miku. So what is this supposed to be? There's no price on this yet. I still want them really badly. They're kind of cute. They're like cute, but creepy, but still cute. But like, what is this price? Like, and they're, they're like, they're a little taller than Nendroids, I believe. Oh, I don't know, it doesn't say, but I do believe they're bigger than Nendroids and they have joints and whatever. And I know the, I think the materials they use are like high quality or very expensive. And that's what, where the price is coming from. But good Lord, this is like the price of a quarter scale. And I've seen quarter scales cheaper. I, I just, I don't, yeah, I don't. Chia looks so fucking cute though. Look at, oh, with his little hat, him in that damn hat. Anyways, 
Yeah. Anyways, anyway, this is about cleaning up the wish list, not complaining. Also, did you guys see we got Orin High School Host Club Nendroids announced? I don't care if I'm holding off on Nendroids. These are going in my collection. We have these Shugo Kiara figures that I only had because there are no Shugo Kiara scales or Nendroids and I thought that I wanted something of Amu but I have changed my mind. I don't care. I have the uh, amulet heart wand and I think that's fine. That's good enough until we get hopefully scales in the future if that's even possible or Nendroids. I'll even go for an Nendroid. Uh, same with this like these like low quality figures need to get the hell out of my face right now i know i said i'm getting rid of all the little figures but this is like a nendroid petite i believe of tomoko and i think this is so fucking cute yo um oh that's like a size comparison between her and her nendroid i think she's super cute i don't want her i don't care um Everything I just said about not collecting little figures don't apply to her and this figure. And I know I said I'm not collecting uh, small figures, but I really want this of Mao from Devil is a Part-Timer because there is no figure out there of Mao at all. And he is my favorite character from the series. And he is the main character. And despite him being the main character, Big Booby Chiho gets the most figures because she has Big Booby privileges. And I love Chiho. I love her so much, but like, can we not? Can we? Can we not? <laughs> so he's staying with me. All these mini Attack on Titan figures that I have on my wish list is mainly in here because I had just finished reading the manga and I got so emotional and so upset. Like, I don't really want this. Like, I don't. I, I'm having a moment of this is oh it's always such a good idea to go back into your wish list and just make fun of yourself <laughs> for why you added this shit in your wish list. It's so funny. It brings back so many memories and what state you were in. I just like girl, I, I'm having like a moment of clarity right now. Um and then we have these I had like a I'm obsessed with Zenitsu phase and he's my favorite character phase. So we need to like take all this out all these like demon slayer mini figures need to go i'm like just not i'm not really feeling it right now or anymore he is super cute look at him but yeah okay um i don't know why i have garage kits on my wish list i think i'm like in some kind of delusion like i had one other sailor moon garage kit in part one of this video but i think i'm in like some kind of delusion that i'm actually gonna find these things assemble them and then go and find somebody to paint them for me and like I just I am not that productive yeah I'm just gonna take out all these garage kits out of here um this oh my god like this I I know this is a garage kit but I would die for this I think I'll keep it for now to be honest <laughs> oh and then I think that's it for the figures interesting let's like refresh let's see how much we got out of here let's like do like a little oh now there's only i think there was like we started with like 200 something and now there's 122 which is still a lot to be honest but like oh no i need to get rid of this what, why do i have that i don't even i still have some <laughs> um i don't need this i don't know why i have this okay i have the Mew Ichigo, one of this figure. Mew Mint is my second favorite character in Tokyo Mew Mew, but I don't think I need this, to be honest. I think I can live without it. We're good to go. Um, what else, what else? I'm trying to like do a quick, I don't want this video to be so long. I'm already 38 minutes in, Jesus Christ. Um, we already looked at those, we're keeping those. Uh, these are all recent figures. I do not need this. Okay, let me just open up a few figures. There's this Miku. I already talked about this figure in, in a few or like a couple video, past videos that I've done. She's so stunning, but it's a it's a prize figure or a pop-up parade. It's a large pop-up parade. They didn't get the color of her shirt right and they didn't add her piercings and I feel like the piercings were a big thing that they needed to add. I just, I just, I just, I'm gonna take it out. Um, I, also, I believe that eventually if this 
once this gets released, I do think the aftermarket won't be so harsh just because she's a pop-up, she's not like a scale or anything. And yeah, I don't, yeah. So if I do change my mind, but I haven't changed my mind yet, so. <laughs> Uh, and then we have these Tokyo Revengers figures. Um, they already came out painted. I don't know why it didn't update, but they're painted over here if you want to take a look on your own time. I just, I don't, I don't know. Uh, they are cool looking figures, but just not for me. So eh, I can, despite Mikey being one of my favorites, eh, I'm just, eh, we could take out Ken too. <laughs> this e-stream figure of modding everybody was so excited to see what the prototype was going to look like and once it came out this is what we got I hate this I'm sorry she is chained up her the whole feet thing is just weird to me on its own the base is definitely going to be way too huge I I don't I don't I don't like it and I know a lot of people agree and it sucks because everybody was waiting for this and anticipating something so good especially because this was from eStream but uh yeah this was not it um so we are taking this off our wish list delete and I think I have notifications on for this I can just turn that off too because I don't care okay um is that it we have this creamy mommy figure Oh my god, and then we have another Shugo- Girl, what is wrong with you with these damn Shugo Kiana figures? Oh, and then we have these Spy Family Nendroids, which I hate. Uh, they screwed up yours face, and then it just looks weird. This- Well, the, them screwing up yours face is their fault. There's like this one where she's like in this battle pose and she's about to attack. Where is it? This is a cute one though. Um, this- She looks- Why- what is this face? Why would you put a default face for her about to fight someone? Um, and then this part I understand is not Good Smile's fault because all their like nendroids are the same size. But when you have this little girl next to her parents and she's just as <laughs> big as they are, this is a little bit weird. Um, looking at it now, it's not as weird, I think, as it was for me when I first saw them all together. But like it's still a little weird and her head is huge like girl all that head not enough brain oh there's this baji figure again i don't need <laughs> i don't need tokyo revengers figures he is cute though he's adorable okay now i think why does it say i have 300 figures on my wish list that cannot be true right like there's no this is 300 two pages worth worth oh i have okay we can take out this yama uh, 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 Yamaguchi Nendroid. I do not like this Denji figure. We can take that out. Um, uh, I'm like trying to like clean this up as much as I can, but damn, like 300, really? There's no way. But yeah, I think that is it. I think we cleaned it up pretty well. So the next video I do is going to be going through the goods category. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. I feel good about this. I feel good about this. So um, maybe we'll do like a refresher, um, like not not now, maybe later and see if I still feel the same about these, but that is it for now. So I feel good about this. So let me know what you think in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.